Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design, and today I'm up in the studio uh, playing. It's what I do best. Uh, now, I went out this morning and built up a fire in the factory. I've been splitting my wood for uh, in the morning. When I go out to the woodshed, I get a block of wood and split it all up. I split quite a bit of wood for the stove out there. It runs better with wood about that big, so I split it all up. And I've been splitting the, the uh, first stick into small pieces, maybe an inch and a half diameter. And, and I'm having a lot better luck getting the fire started in my stove on these cold mornings. A little bit of cardboard. We don't haul any cardboard to the dump. I burn almost all of it out in my wood stove in the factory starting a fire. Uh, so we get the fire going and I set out to uh, fill best orders. And I had to build some dome top remotes and some 10 centimeter lids, 12 centimeter lids, and M6s and a few pot stands. So, I uh, revamped the way I do my pot stands a little bit. It's a little bit better set up. Uh, and my cabinet's all set up for uh, making the uh, pot lids. Dies are all where they're supposed to be. Uh, and that's nice. <clears throat> so, once I got all done doing that, uh, went down to the mailbox and there was two or three three envelopes in the, in the mailbox for me, boxes. I got this breadboard. Uh, which I've been just starting to use now, just getting used to it. A lot of fun. Really easy to do things on it before you put them together. And I got a kit to build a flasher to go on the back of my trike, my uh, recumbent trike. that you can change the way it flashes for a safety light in the evening. And I got a, another package with a whole bunch of components in it. Uh, now, uh, what I try to do is, this is comical, what I try to do is, every night I sit down to go on the internet and find something that I'm looking for, usually not big money, just a few dollars, and order it. So it comes out that usually every day in the mailbox something will come that I've ordered. I'm like a little kid. I just like going down to the mailbox and getting a package, so I make sure that I get a package every day, sometimes three or four. Um, that's just the way I operate. Now, uh, <clears throat> when we get, when I got done building out in the factory, we hopped in the pickup, went to the dump, uh, swung around, stopped at the antique store, and Sue's been looking at a cabinet, a, a two-drawer cabinet, kind of an end table side table, I don't know, end stand, whatever you want to call it, I don't know what you call it. But anyway, it was it was pretty nice, had a lot of burled wood on it, and uh, nice top, kind of ornate, and the drawers got a curve to them. Uh, and we bought that, brought it home, and I had to do a little sanding on the drawers to get them uh, to run right, but I've got the drawers glassy smooth. And then she put it up in the bedroom, so take a quick look at that. Uh, now, Beth is downstairs. Uh, one of the boxes we got in the mail was clockworks. She ordered the clockworks to uh, rebuild an old antique clock, kind of an oddity of a clock. And the uh, mechanics of it were all gone. So she bought a battery-powered uh, module to go right in with the hands and everything. And she's down on the kitchen table rebuilding that. We'll take a look at that. And uh, somebody told me uh, this is called a banker's light. I now I that you mentioned that I, I think I've seen that in that situation before. Maybe a Norman Rockwell painting, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, I got all kinds of stuff to do here for juicy projects. I got my breadboard and I've got that flasher and I've got all kinds of components. Uh, now, the LED up here, that you knew I was going to start talking about Jewel Thief, right? <laughs> I have one running up here that's been running now for a week. And I noticed an oddity. Uh, when it got down to a half a volt, I figured, well, you know, it's going to run a few more hours and die. But it did. When it got down to a half a volt, uh, this is either the third or the fourth day that it's been running. 
on a half a volt and I checked it and it's almost exactly still a half a volt. So evidently the way the chemistry is in these batteries, these alkaline batteries, when it gets down to a half a volt, it seems to have a, a, a huge or a lot of ability uh, to produce current at a half a volt. That seems to be a sweet spot for it. You know, like at the top 1.6, it only stays there a very short period of time. But when it gets down to a half a volt, it's the hang time is, like I said, I've been running it 24 hours a day for, for three or four days. I think four days, and it's still at a half a volt. So that's kind of cool. Uh, now I'm thinking of redesigning the circuit so it's much brighter at a half a volt. Because that's the sweet spot. That's where all the good uh, hang time is. Uh, and I ordered some little plastic cases uh, to put this whole thing in uh, with an on-off switch and a battery thing so you can just take a, a AA battery. I decided to go with AA battery because there's a lot of them around. They're easy to come by. Everything runs on AA's. And it's, you can unsnap it and snap another one in. It was a two bay uh, made for two AA's and uh, I'm going to put one AA in it and put all the electronics and everything in the other bay. And this is even cooler. I'm going to put a solar cell on it. I wanted a solar cell about three quarters of an inch wide, a couple inches long, to just JB Weld right on the back of it, or sugar uh, right on the back of it. And I on the internet last night, like I said, I order something every night so I get something in the mailbox. I like getting stuff in the mailbox. Last night, I found a site where they had that exact LED, uh, that exact solar panel. Uh, it puts out three volts and 25 milliamps. And uh, it was a dollar twenty each, so I ordered ten of those, waiting for those to come. This is going to be quite the light when I get it. When I get done with it, uh, the way I figure the math on it, if you if it gets in the sun at all, uh, a little bit every day, uh, I don't think you could ever run it down. Even if you only put it in the sun uh, once a week, I don't I don't think you could ever run it down. I'm going to put a double A AA nickel metal hydride battery in it, and I don't think you could ever run it down. Uh, light forever, and uh, I've been reading at night testing that light and I was reading uh, the Times documentary on Steve Jobs in bed under the covers with a light and uh, it works great and I've been using that light for a long time uh, but it works great for reading I, I really like I get a kick out of it so enough of that uh, I'm gonna go back to playing around here at the uh, electronics bench I'm Timmy from Mini Bull Design get out and hike take a friend Enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have a really great day, and try to take some time out to have just a little bit of fun today. I would have taken a picture of the pizza Sue made tonight with homemade meatballs, but it's gone. Bye-bye. <laughs>